only two values of x can satisfy this equation one is zero and the next one is what i'm going to solve so watch to the end depending on the method you're going to use x plus eight squared minus 64 equals to zero now x plus this 64 is 8 squared so if that happens i'm going to apply difference of two squares so x squared minus b squared equals to a plus b times a minus b that is what difference of two squares says so if I'm going to apply that here, I will have this as as x plus eight minus eight, then x plus eight plus eight equals to zero. X plus eight. This is this bracket minus eight. I'm satisfying this one now. Then this is this all equal to zero. So if I should um, solve this, 8 minus 8 is 0. We have just 8 there. Here, 8 plus 8, 16, equal to 0. If you solve this out, it means that is it that this equal to 0, or this is 0, or both of them are equal to 0. This is what that means. So x from here equal to 0. Then here, x plus 16 is 0. That means x equals to minus 16. So the two values of x that can satisfy this equation are 0 and minus 16. So if our x is equal to 0, it means you have here 0 plus 8 squared, which is 8 squared, and that is 64. Then if your x equal to minus 16, so we have this as minus 16 plus 8 squared. Minus 16 plus 8 is minus 8 minus 8 squared since this is repeated that's minus 8 times minus 8 that will be plus and this is plus 64 equal to this so our two values are 0 and minus 16 depending on the formula that you are using if you like what i'm doing here and you want more of this share and subscribe bye bye